Welcome Spartan Stations friends. Today is Friday and guess what? It is May 1st. We're in the brand new month. And guess what May 1st is? Addie, what's May 1st? Their dad's birthday. It's kind of an exciting fun day. And it's also a fun day because we're going to be learning about monkeys today. Do you see my cute monkey right here? Oh, look at him. Look how cute that monkey is. Bryn, where do monkeys live? In trees. In trees. They like to live in trees. That's right. Monkeys like to swing from trees. And then we also have, what's this? Gorilla. Hey. A gorilla. What's bigger, a gorilla or a monkey? Gorilla. Gorillas. Gorillas are bigger. If you guys have seen Tarzan, you've seen gorillas. And guys, if any of you guys have the new Disney show, there's a special Disney nature that's all about monkeys, and it's actually pretty cool. So feel free to check that out. All right, guys, so for our first activity today, we are making a monkey. And while I was gathering everything for this activity... Brynn got started on it because she was so excited about this activity. Now, guys, this one's a little bit hard. It takes a lot of time to cut out all the parts. You're probably going to need your mom and dad to help you. If this is maybe more work than you want to do today, that's okay. I have some monkeys at the end that you're going to do for a song visual, and you can do those monkeys instead if you want to. But Brynn's going to come over and tell you about this monkey, and I'm going to show you how to add the different things. So let's see. Brynn put on his ears, and he glued on eyes and the mouth and the nose. But what is our monkey missing? Legs. Legs and arms and a and tail. And a banana. And a banana. All right, so what you're gonna do is if you cut these out, you're gonna have brown pieces of paper like this. Now you're gonna cut them like an accordion, fold them like an accordion. So you fold them this way, front, and then back. And then you're gonna bend it front, and then you're gonna bend it back. And then you're gonna bend it front, and then you're gonna bend it back, and watch what happens. <gasps> It's like a little accordion. So what you're going to do then is glue them on to your monkey with his hands. And then look, he's got little hands like this. So let's glue those on. All right. So I'm hoping Bryn will come over in a second and help me because this is not my activity I want to do. This was supposed to be Bryn's, but she's not here. Oh, there she is. Perfect. All right, Bryn. I just put on your first monkey arm and hand. Hello. So what Hello, I'm going to do, how are you? Hello, how are you? So remember, you're going to take it and you're going to bend this it is a this banana. way and this way and this way okay. and this way. You want to do one, Bryn? Yeah. All right, I'm going to do another one. Because remember, we have two this arms. Way. So Bryn is going all the same way, but you have to go backwards and frontwards and fold it up and then fold it down and fold it up and fold it down and fold it up and fold it down. All right, here we go. <gasps> Bryn, show him. You did it. Good job. All right, now we got to glue them on. Absolutely, Addie. We would love your help. Mommy, that's going to be a tail piece. Oh, no, the tail one's actually the thin, long one. So this is going to be arms and legs. So we put his hands because his hands look like this. And then Bryn's, these are going to be his feet. So can you go ahead and glue his feet on for me, Bryn? Or do you want to bend another one? Bend that dad one. Okay, Brent is going to bend another one in. I'm going to put oh, the feet on. All right, here we go. Cute little monkey. Sweet All right, and then monkey. the one that climbing in the tree. The one that is thin and long is going to be the tail. So I'm going to go ahead and fold that one. Now these are a lot to fold. I want you to do at least one or two yourself so you learn how to do it. Because guess what? When you go to kindergarten, they're going to ask you to do this for activities all the time. So I want you to practice on a few of them. But if your mom and dad or brother and sister want to help you make the next ones, that's fine. All right, here we go. Whoa, can you see it? There's his tail. All right, Bryn, how's that one going? So there's his tail. And all right, let's make his other hand. Now remember, this is ooh, the hand piece. So go ahead and stick it on. And then we'll go ahead and put some glue right here. And we'll stick it up here. And then all we have left is our monkeys. Oh, his ear's falling. I have to fix that ear a little bit. The good news is, is when you do it with glue, you can go ahead and just fix it. No big deal. Just glue it again. Oh, guess what? His eye just fell off. Oh, I silly monkeys. I silly monkeys. All right, so look, he looks a little silly because he's missing his other leg. Oh, good job. Here we go. Bryn got hers. 
So we'll go ahead and put the foot at the bottom. And Bryn, where would you like to put the banana? Do you want him holding the banana with his hand or his foot, or you want to put it by his mouth? Usually monkeys are really funny. Mom's. All right, let's look. So here's our monkey. Here's his tail, and then here's his arms and his legs. Oh, so Bryn, why don't you tell me where would you like to have the banana be? His foot holding it? That's a great no, idea. No, his tail. His tail? Yeah. Okay. And and tape it on it. It, it, it looks like a tail holding a banana. And and usually monkeys put their toes to their mouth mouth or get a banana to them. Hmm. Guys, that's our monkey. What do you think? It's a lot of cutting, but he ends up being a really cute monkey. So I hope you enjoy making it. All right, guys, our math activity is actually going to be up on my kitchen table. So we're going to skip that right now. Uh, your next activity is literacy, and that's with Mr. Matt. And you're going to go ahead and tell stories about the zoo. Okay, so he has story one, story two, story three. If you're doing a story, what kind of characters would you find at the zoo? Would you find a princess? Probably not. Would you find a zookeeper? Yeah. Would you find a whale? Probably not. That'd be in an aquarium. Would you maybe find a lion? Yeah. So I want you to think about these things and when you make your stories with Mr. Matt. And I bet you're going to make some awesome stories. And maybe tonight before you go to bed, you'll be like, oh, mom, you don't need to read me a book. I would like to tell you my story. First, let me tell you who the characters are or the people, the setting or where it took place, and the plot about what happened. Okay, do that with Mr. Matt. All right, our next one is Mr. Matt is going to do his experiment for you today. I believe it has to do with water versus salt water, and I think it's going to be super exciting to go watch what he does. So watch his video. All right, guys, next is our song visual. Now, Addie colored these for me, and she did a really good job. I haven't cut all of them out yet. Now, these are kind of hard to cut because there's so many little pieces. So when you're cutting, sometimes I like to just go ahead and make a circle around it. I don't need to cut out in between everything. If you want to, you can. But I am a little tired from cutting out that monkey. It was way more cutting than I realized it would be. So I'm just going to go like this. And look, you can still tell he's a cute little monkey, but he's just cut out with a circle around him. All right, I'm going to do one more. All right. Oh, maybe. Got to make sure I still do some good cutting. All right, now these five monkeys, can you guess what they're used for? Can you think of a story or a song that uses five monkeys? Maybe five little monkeys jumping on a bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. I bet you could draw a bed and have them jumping on it and you would have them fall off. Or maybe five little monkeys swinging in the trees. Teasing Mr. Alligator, you can't catch me. No, you can't catch me. Maybe what you'll do is you want to draw a tree. You could draw brown with big leaves and you could put them up there and then along comes Mr. Alligator. Can you draw an alligator? Quiet as can be and snatch that monkey right out of that tree. So you should have five monkeys. One, two, Addie thought it'd be fun if they had red faces. Three, four, Five, and you can do anything you want with these guys. You can play with them, you can do stories, you could do addition and subtraction. You could say, if two little monkeys were hanging on a tree and a third monkey came along, how many monkeys are there all together? One, two, three. Thanks for fixing those, Addy. So you guys can do lots of things with your five monkeys. I hope that you like them. All right, guys. Uh-oh. They gotta be a little careful that they are not playing while we're doing our activities because they'll knock this over. All right, Addie and Brenda are going to come with me upstairs and we're going to do our Mommy, math Mommy, activity. All right, here we go for our math activity. All right, Addie, Bryn, come here. Hi. All right, let's see. We are doing our alligator greater than less than. So what's gonna happen is Addie and Bryn, oh, Bad videoing, guys. Bad viewing. All right. Addie and Bryn are going to go ahead and... No, remember, first you have to pop the top to see what number you get. What number did you get? Nine on that one. No, six. No, no, nine on this one. Nine and six are a little tricky to see, so we're going to bring it over here so you can see, guys. Nine. All right. Here we go. Four. Five. Six. Seven. 
All right, now Addie, how many are on yours? Um, oh my goodness. Okay, get 10 over there. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And, Ten. okay guys, if that alligator wants to eat, which number is greater, nine or 10? Not 10. All right, so fix the alligator mouse so he's eating the 10. Yummy. Good job. Wait, wait, where's the 10? Put it that way, let go so everybody can see. Good job, he's eating those. Do you guys have things at home you could do and pretend like they're eating, maybe stuffed animals or toys? All right, Addie and Brynn are gonna do it one more time. Clear it off, please. All right, Bryn, you're the first one. Click your thing and see it. Oh, Brynny got four. One, nine, two, three, two, three, okay. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, if you were the alligator, which one would you want to eat? Which one's greater than? Uh, four or nine? Nine, nine? That's right, greater than. All right, should we do one more? Clear them off. Guys, you can find anything around your house. You could do Legos and figure out what's greater than less than. Abby got one and Brittany got two. All right, one or two, which way would it be? That's right, the alligator wants to eat the ones over there. So two is greater than one. All right, guys, awesome. Now, Abby and Brynn and I are gonna go outside and we're gonna do our last activity. Oh, mess is here. Okay, hey, here we go. Chase. Oh, my puppy Chase is running around. Chase! All right, we are going in our backyard and Addie and Brynn are gonna do our outside activity today. Addie and Brynn, what are we doing for our outside activity today? Five little monkeys. Five little monkeys. What are your monkeys gonna be doing today, Addie? Jumping on the trampoline. Jumping on the trampoline. If you don't have a trampoline, you could jump on something else. Maybe you could be jumping on the grass. All right, Bryn, get up there so you can help. Chase, Chase down. Chase. Pop it. He loves, oh, Chase. Down. Chase. Down, down. Oh, down, buddy. He's excited to see us. We haven't played with him yet today. Chasers. All right, here we go. I can't tell if you can see him. Here we go. Ready and go. Two little monkeys jumping on the tramp. One fell off and bumped her head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, how many are left? One. No. one little monkey jumping on the bed. One, uh, why do I have two? Ben, you have fallen off and bumped your head. One little monkey jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped her head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Okay, guys, you can jump around outside and do anything that you want to to go ahead and do monkeys that are jumping on the bed. All right, uh, Chase wants to say hi one more time. Chase, Chase, say hi. Chase, down, sit, sit. Oh, buddy, he is excited. Sit, sit. He doesn't sit. He likes sit. Sit. Oh my goodness. I got him. Chase, uh-uh, sit. 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 Oh, these are puppy. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much. That's our naughty dog and all of our things for uh, monkeys today. I hope you have a good time and we'll see you later.